So in this video, I want to cover the relationship between Bitcoin and MicroStrategy and what's happening with the stock right now. But before that, we need to talk about Bitcoin because if you don't have conviction on the Bitcoin side, there's no point in understanding and analyzing MicroStrategy because it's a Bitcoin proxy stock. What proxy means is just that it has a relationship towards Bitcoin. In this website of StatMuse, what we see is a chart of returns of Bitcoin since 2014 up to 2024. Bitcoin is known for its volatility, but it's also known for the high returns that it has. So during that 10 year period, the best year was an increase in price of 1,369%, but it also had two years where it dropped in price by 73.5% and 64.3%. When you do a rough average of the yearly gains of Bitcoin, you come up with a value that is around plus 185% yearly return if you average down all these years. So the performance is important, the returns are important, and every investor primary goal should be to beat inflation and beat the basement in whatever country they live. So in North America, in the US and in Canada, a rough calculation is that the inflation plus the devaluation of the currency is between 15% and 20% yearly. So that means that your returns on your investments need to be equal or greater than that in order to accumulate wealth. If your returns are 5% or 10%, you are not catching up you're actually losing value over time. Even though your account may be increased number-wise, the buying power of your assets is not getting stronger. So you need to look for assets that give you at least 15 to 20% yearly returns. So that's the importance of Bitcoin, and that's why you need to invest in stocks, and that's why you need to invest in real estate, you need to be an investor because only investors will increase their assets over time. If you are holding cash all your life and you never invest, well, technically you're losing 15 to 20% each year of buying power by keeping the money in the bank. So you should not do that. Try to put money aside to invest it is critical. I have conviction in Bitcoin. The performance since inception, and especially in the last 10 years, has proven to me that it's a great vehicle to generate those returns and gain buying power in my portfolio. So now, in the last year, we got ETFs approved. So that means that Bitcoin was accepted by Wall Street and it was more incorporated into the whole traditional finance environment. And also, now comes the history with MicroStrategy, whose CEO, Michael Saylor, was looking for a solution of the cash that was being accumulated in his company and was being debased 15 to 20% every year. He also was looking for a solution to protect that cash, protect that buying power. He was looking everywhere until he discovered the power of Bitcoin. And due to his scarcity, fixed supply, and decentralized system, allowed him to park its money in Bitcoin, avoid the debasement of his cash over time, and even gain buying power of the cash that was part of the company. And therefore, by protecting 
that debasement of the cash in the company, he was protecting his, its, its investors in the same way. And on the side, he was also protecting his own investment and his own cash by finding the solution who was and is Bitcoin. So now let's talk about micro strategy. And here, Luke Mikic, I believe, summarize the situation of micro strategy the best way possible. So Michael Saylor and his team, Michael Saylor is the former CEO, now chairman, I believe, was to protect, like I indicated, the melting ice cube of cash that the company had, and they've had to find a vehicle to protect that from melting away, and they found Bitcoin. But MicroStrategy is a company that is listed in the stock market. Therefore, they could, they can issue debt, they can issue shares. So they have both systems that the company can do that is not available to you and me. The individual cannot have access to that money to invest or to do anything related or critical for the company. So they have these two options that no individual has. They also have another tool is that MicroStrategy as a stock can be included in multiple indices or pool of stocks where, for example, if there's a fund that is investing in tech companies, it could include MicroStrategy. If there's a fund that invest in AI companies, MicroStrategy can be included in that pool of companies. The S&P 500, who has the most, the biggest 500 companies in the US, includes the 500 biggest companies in the market. MicroStrategy is not yet included in the S&P 500, but is working towards getting listed. And you will see why this is important. So with MicroStrategy, we are infiltrating the traditional financial system of trading stocks, of getting involved in indices, of leverage, of shorting stocks, everything in relation to stocks, MicroStrategy has all the tools. And by incorporating Bitcoin within MicroStrategy, indirectly, Bitcoin infiltrates the whole financial system. And this can spread extremely quickly so that individuals will be able to invest Bitcoin without even knowing that they are investing in Bitcoin. Why? Because there's millions of people who buy the S&P 500 index, for example. So once MicroStrategy gets entered in that list, every time somebody buys the S&P 500, indirectly they will buy MicroStrategy and at the same time buy Bitcoin. And they will be exposed to Bitcoin and it will provide the power of Bitcoin of returns to more and more people. And that eventually is adoption of Bitcoin. So this is an entry point to the traditional, to the traditional finance world with Bitcoin. So now let me explain the flywheel of MicroStrategy. First, the company can issue debt at a very low interest rate, raises money, let's say it receives $100 million at 1% rate for X amount of years. They take that cash, okay, which we all know gets debased between 15% and 20% each year and buys Bitcoin. As soon as the switch is done, Bitcoin is added to the balance sheet of MicroStrategy. So now we're taking cash, 
who is losing value and transferring to Bitcoin who has a fixed supply that is decentralized and has had in the last 10 years a return over 100% per year. And we get an interest rate in the low percentages. Sometimes I think he was able to get money at 0%, 0.6%, let's say even 1% at very, very low level. So what's going to happen in the future is that MicroStrategy will issue more debt or issue shares to get cash to pay back those debts. And eventually it will probably maybe even sell a little bit of Bitcoin to clear all its debts at one specific point when the margin of profit is immense so that it doesn't affect too much the price of the stock and they will get rid of all their debt of an asset that is debasing and keeping an asset that is gaining in value every time. The other powerful thing with the debt in cash is that that debt in cash is losing value every year. So a debt of $100 million 10 years down the road, you will pay a lot less than $100 million if you were able to increase your buying power with Bitcoin. So that same debt, it's going to cost you a lot less to pay it back if you use an asset like Bitcoin. So this already is extremely powerful. Taking a cash that is losing value and transferring to an asset like Bitcoin who is gaining value. That's the first level. So when Bitcoin it gets added to MicroStrategy, the value of MicroStrategy goes up, the shares value of MicroStrategy goes up, and the raise in price attracts new investors or more investors to buy the stock. When the price of MicroStrategy goes up, the percentages of the allocation of MicroStrategy within the indices goes up. And if it goes up, then the value of the indices will go up. And post analysis, they will see that one of the stock who's contributing to the increase in price of that indices is MicroStrategy and will attract more investors towards the company. Now, at one point, the value present within the company of MicroStrategy has, is directly linked to the price of Bitcoin times the amount of Bitcoin in the company. But the shares never or very rarely trade at the same level as all the components of the company. So if you take the cash of the company plus the Bitcoin and plus all the other assets of the company, you will get the valuation of MicroStrategy. Every single company trades at a premium always. Some sometimes low premium, sometimes mid premium, and sometimes a very high premium. So depending on the premium, you will be further away from the value as present in the company related to Bitcoin or very close to the value of Bitcoin. So here, MicroStrategy and its directors look at the value of Bitcoin and that premium. And usually when the premium is very, very high, therefore the price of the shares of MicroStrategy is really, really high. What they will do is they're going to issue shares at that high price and they will offer this to the market. So they're going to dilute the value of the shares by issuing more shares but those shares are overextended in value in relationship to the amount of Bitcoin that is present within the company. So they're selling the stock at a premium to maximize the amount of money that they can get for the investors, the current investors of the company, bring that money back to the company. This will deval bring the value down of the company, bring it closer to the value of Bitcoin. And with that cash, again, they're going to gather cash that is losing value over time, and they're going to go and buy 
more Bitcoin. So when they do the transfer, they take a cash that is losing value and switching it to Bitcoin who's gaining value. When they do that, the price of Bitcoin goes up because there are a lot more buyers and we have, and I repeat myself, a set amount of Bitcoin. We cannot print more Bitcoin. There's not more Bitcoin available or printed or anything. There's no inflation in Bitcoin. Therefore, as soon as you buy it, it's no longer available for the next person, the next company, the next investor. So now MicroStrategy has raised an amount of cash above the value of the company, bring the cash in the company, buy more Bitcoin, bring the value of the company a little down by diluting the shares, adding shares to the company, but this will trigger a spike in price in Bitcoin, indirectly a spike in price of the value of the shares of MicroStrategy and also the value of the indices where MicroStrategy is currently included. And this attracts the eyes of people who are investing in indices, people who want to invest in MicroStrategy, and people who are buying Bitcoin. And this scheme can be repeated indefinitely. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that as the price rises of the shares of MicroStrategy, they can, more, they can borrow exponentially bigger and bigger and bigger amounts. You can be in the low millions initially and then in the mid $500 million type of deals, then $1 billion and then $100 billion, and then eventually maybe even a trillion dollars can be borrowed because of the scale at which you are doing this. MicroStrategy has been buying Bitcoin for years and has accumulated a big amount of Bitcoin. Due to the fact that we have 21 million Bitcoin cap, it's going to become extremely difficult to catch MicroStrategy. Why? Because in order to buy 100,000 or 200,000 Bitcoins in 2024 and 2025, it's going to take a lot more money than four years ago or eight years ago. Plus, a lot of people are buying Bitcoin, taking it out of exchanges, putting it in cold storage, and that Bitcoin will never be put back in the system. That's one thing. The other, people are buying Bitcoin, leaving it in exchanges, but they're not for sale. So that Bitcoin, even though you see it as available in the market, it's not for sale. There's going to be a lot more people keeping the Bitcoin for themselves. There's a lot of people who are staking Bitcoin and all the extra satoshis that they get, they either, they either put them in cold storage or keep them and they're not putting them to sale. Miners are doing something similar. Some miners are even buying Bitcoin, depending on the cycle, the four year cycle of Bitcoin. So there's going to be a lot more accumulation. Now, there's another issue that's going to come up very, very soon when another company like MicroStrategy is going to start doing this. We already know of the company in Japan who is doing that, but they're currently at close to 1,000 Bitcoin, if my memory is correct. So that's one another company. If Apple, Amazon, or Microsoft starts doing this with a pile of cash that they have, or even Berkshire Hathaway, who has billion dollars in cash in reserves right now, melting away at a rate of 15 to 20% each year, they could do this at a very big scale, very quickly, like MicroSailor, 
and they would add a lot of value to their investors. There's even a company in Canada right now, a small company, who's doing exactly the same thing here as MicroStrategy, but doing it with Solana tokens. They're raising cash buying Solana. They're staking and getting Solana as rewards. They even have validators in the system and generating more Solana to add to their balance sheet. So we only need two or three big players like this, like MicroStrategy, that continue to gather impressive amounts of Bitcoin like that, and the price will skyrocket. And as soon as it goes beyond $100,000 per coin, in my opinion, there's going to be a gold rush of people. Everybody's going to jump in. Even your grandmother is going to talk to you about Bitcoin and why you didn't tell her to invest before and things like that. Individuals have no idea what's going on. But the scale at which MicroStrategy now is working is impressive. And I say it again, the importance of MicroStrategy is to bring awareness of Bitcoin, the power that it has to add value as a savings tool, taking cash that is losing buying power and putting it in a vehicle that it's growing in buying power. This is super powerful and I believe people are starting to get it. Not a lot of people, but potentially MicroStrategy could be a trillion dollar company very, very quickly. Here you can see the public companies that own Bitcoin. You can type in Google Bitcoin treasuries and you will see and you'll come up with this website from Bitbull, I believe. The name is the treasuries.bitbull.io. So we see here the public companies that have the most Bitcoin. Number one, MicroStrategy with over 252,000 Bitcoin. Number two is Marathon Digital, which is a Bitcoin miner with 25,000, almost 26,000. Riot, another miner. Tesla, who owns 9,700 Bitcoin. Hot8, another miner. Coinbase, the custodian. Block, another Bitcoin related company. Galaxy Digital Holding, CleanSpark, another miner. Hive, another miner, and so on. So like I said, a lot of people are putting a lot of attention on what's going on with the stock of MicroStrategy, their overall strategy, how they raise cash, how they issue shares, when they do it, how they're proceeding to add an impressive amount of value to the company. So it's a matter of time for another major company or a major country. And why a major company? or why a major country is because if these companies have a lot of cash on hand, they could do the same thing as MicroStrategy. Governments could actually do it quicker at a higher scale because they have the luxury of printing their own currency. So that would, yes, devalue a little bit their currency, but they would transfer that value into an asset that's gaining in buying power over 100% per year in the last 10 years. So this is a powerful tool to have in your portfolio. Obviously, you will need to decide what size it needs to be because there are risks involved and nothing is 100% proof. You have to be careful. MicroStrategy could have issues with its Bitcoin. That can happen, but I'm pretty sure they are extremely careful on the way they handle the Bitcoin and also on insurance on the amount that they have to make sure that the investors 
do not get in trouble. Finally, let's look at the MicroStrategy chart because we have a very important event that happened just yesterday, Friday, October 11, where the price of MicroStrategy went above the critical value of $200 here because now the price is tra trading at 212 which is an all-time high. We are in price discovery for MicroStrategy and this spike in price was potentially due to liquidations of people who were shorting the stock that got triggered and got liquidated and allowed the price of the shares of MicroStrategy to go up. And since then, I'm making the video on the 12th of October, one day after, the price of Bitcoin has continued to go up a little bit. Therefore, when the markets open next week, this push in price could continue. So we have broken the critical technical level of $200 with increasing volume. And you see now that the ME200 is going up and to the right. That's what we want. And the MA50 is turning right now to catch up with the price. So it's going to also go up and to the right. The momentum of MicroStrategy is up and away. And you have to keep this in mind. The stock is above $200 when the Bitcoin price is at $63,000. It's not even at the all-time high of $71,000 or $72,000, which is $10,000 higher. What will happen with the price of MicroStrategy when Bitcoin jumps in price to $72,000, which will be the all-time high that we recently touched? We're not even in price discovery. And after that, you will get the exponential phase of Bitcoin. What will happen with the stock of MicroStrategy? We don't know. And in the meantime, we could have an announcement by MicroStrategy that either they borrowed money or they issue more, more shares to gather more cash to buy $500, $1 billion worth of Bitcoin. This could happen in the upcoming months. So be aware this stock price could explode extremely quickly. And if there's still people shorting the stock, it's gonna help boost the price up even faster. This is the weekly chart of MicroStrategy since 2018. You see how impressive this move is right now. You see the MA50 going almost vertical. The AMA 200 is turning also up and to the right. We have a recent raise in volume. We broke this structure between $120 and $180. And we straight up went above $200. So extremely bullish for MicroStrategy. The stock could be the best stock in 2024. And in my opinion, it could also be the number one stock for 2025. It's looking extremely positive for the stock for the next year, year and a half. Be aware, however, that we need to take in consideration risks and those risk, risks are when Bitcoin tops or when Bitcoin starts correcting. And that could be the, the beginning of the bear market. But we have a new variable this time around that we never had in the previous cycles of Bitcoin. And that is, first, we're going to be above $100,000. So there's going to be a lot more people interested in Bitcoin. We're going to have the performance of Bitcoin, who's going to be all over the news and awareness of the asset will increase 
globally, not only in the US and Canada, it's going to be all over the world. Two, three, we have ETFs that are constantly buying every single week more and more and more Bitcoin. This could lower the severity of the bear market. MicroStrategy will continue buying Bitcoin. Tether will continue to buy Bitcoin quarterly. If other companies like the Japanese company continue buying Bitcoin, the individuals will continue buying Bitcoin. There's not going to be tons of Bitcoin available for sale. And that implies that the price continues to go higher. Did we, did we see the last real bear market for Bitcoin? That could, could be a possibility. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but my conviction towards the asset is stronger than ever. And I think that the adoption of Bitcoin will explode in 2025 and we're never gonna look back. So grab as many Satoshis as you can right now because above $100,000 Getting to one Bitcoin is going to be extremely difficult because everybody will want a piece of the pie. We all know that the total amount of Bitcoin is 21 million. We are at a mining level of 20 million, so we have pretty much a 1 million Bitcoins that need to be mined. But currently, there's potentially 4 or 5 million Bitcoin that have been lost already. So from the 20 million currently available for trading, five are gone. So we're working with a supply of 50 million Bitcoin for the whole world. Individual investors, companies, ETFs, countries, anybody who wants to buy Bitcoin. So 15 million is not a lot and we, in the history of the world have never been in the presence of an asset that we cannot increase its supply. Stocks, the supply of shares can be increased. ETFs, the supply of the ETFs can be increased. Money can be debased, you can print more. Gold, you can dig more gold, add to the supply. Silver, the same thing. All pressure metals, diamonds, the same thing. Oil, we can still discover zones with new suppliers of oil who can diminish the value of the asset because we found more. So the only asset in the world right now with a set supply, real set supply, is Bitcoin. And we have never seen what a high demand for that type of asset can do on its price. When everybody wants to jump in at the same time, we can see exponential increases in prices. There are people talking about $10,000 candles. So from 60,000 to 70,000, let's say in one day, 24 hours, that could happen. $5,000 candles also, or maybe even greater than $10,000 candles in 24 hours. That could happen due to leverage and high demand of the asset. So be ready. The next year is going to be crazy and a lot of people are not prepared. Some people have an idea of maybe what's gonna happen, but everything will be happening very, very soon. And the start is now. October, November, and December are usually the best months for Bitcoin, for a raise in price in Bitcoin. We are at the end of the four year cycle. The exponential phase is here. The push in price is here. We are seeing it already in MicroStrategy. Bitcoin will follow, then altcoins will follow. There's going to be a lot of activity and a lot of trading. Just keep your calm, have your bags ready, and be patient. This is not the time to sell these assets. It's so critical 
only a few weeks will give you 75, 80% of the gains. So be in the market and be patient. I hope you got a value out of the video. I know it's a long video, but I wanted to go over all the aspects of what I known from Bitcoin and MicroStrategy to link the two together. It's one of the best setups, trading setups that I have ever seen, but we are dealing with Bitcoin who is volatile, who is risky. There's risks involved. Something could happen, but I'm a positive person and I believe that this will be life-changing for those who have studied and prepare for the exponential phase in 2024 and also part of 2025. Happy investing everybody. I hope you like this video. Push the video to your friends so that they learn how it works. This is critical. I want to share as much information to everybody. If three to 10 people see it and understand it and grasp the importance of learning this and knowing what to expect and what to do and take your own, own decisions as an investor, I would be extremely happy that these 10 people were able to move forward, take action and be happy eventually with the results. So see you all in the next one. Ciao.